Jovain Diragawucha is Burundi's new prime minister. This comes days after President Everest Ndai Shimie said some senior individuals were planning a coup to overthrow his government. Earlier on Wednesday, parliamentarians voted to remove the now former prime minister, Alain Guillaume Bunyoni. Opposition leaders say they hope this helps ease tensions. All what we want them to do is to consider who is able to do what and not who is more militant or partisan than another. So let's say that the president and his prime minister and even his political party have now a big challenge. How do they cope with the aspiration of the people of Burundi? Since gaining independence from Belgium in 1962, Burundi has witnessed presidential assassinations, ethnic massacres, a long civil war and coups. A failed coup in 2015 plunged the country into unrest. Protests against former leader Pierre Kurinziza led to the deaths of more than 1,000 people. President Dai Shimei has been in power for just more than two years. His claims of a planned coup can't be independently verified, but some say it suggests there could be cracks within the political system. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera.